Okay, I'm going to show you how to print a large uh, piece of paper, in this case a newspaper front page, um, on 8.5 by 11 sheets of paper using the tile function. First thing I'm going to do is come, in, come up to the very upper left hand corner up here and set my zero points on the ruler. And I set that to the very uh, upper left hand corner of the page. Okay, so there I'm dragging that and doing that. Next thing I'm going to do is do Command P for the print command. And I'm going to go to Setup. I'm going to set it to click uh, here to Horizontal. I'm going to set the width to about 70%. I think about 73% is actually will fit a little bit better. Notice Constrained Proportions is on. I also have Manual Tiling. So notice the big P is the front page of this newspaper, and that horizontal piece of paper is going across the top half of the page, roughly. Okay, I'm going to change this to 72%. Make sure I get it all. Okay, and then I print that. Okay, now after I print that, I do the exact same thing, but I have to reset the zero point first. Okay, so I come up here and I set it roughly, and if I print out that top half first, I know what I'm getting, but I'm not waiting for that. I'm just going right about in here to the middle of the page, and now I'm going to hit print, and you'll notice now, right in here, we're printing the bottom half of the page. So I hit print again, and if I go to setup again, horizontal, constrained proportions, make it a little bit smaller, manual tiling, that's the key, and I print that out, and what I've got is the top and the bottom, and I can use what printed across the bottom of the top sheet of paper and across the top of the second sheet of paper, slice that and match it up perfectly. So that's how you print out a large piece of paper, a large format, using the tiling function in InDesign.